Hello everyone and welcome back to Hunty's Dollies. Today we're going to go over the 12 Days of Christmas Barbies, one from last year, 2022, and this year's 2023. And please forgive everything. I got new recording equipment for Christmas, so we're kind of playing with lighting and everything. So the next few videos may be a little testing everything out. But um, let's dive into these dolls because we have a lot to go over in these videos today. I'm going to start off by going over their boxes. Now, most of you have seen on Instagram and other reviews, although I'm shocked to say I haven't seen very many reviews of last year's or this year's so far on YouTube. But um, each of the boxes come in this, each doll comes in a box that's very thick, very sturdy cardboard or paperboard. And um, this one is, is 2022 and it says Barbie 12 Days of Christmas and it has very classic Christmas designs on it. And like you see stockings, ornaments, presents, things like that. And then on the back it shows the doll in her two outfits and uh, the little accessory she comes with. So this is 2022's box. You see it's very pretty, very vintage from the 60s and 50s. You're gonna, this, that's gonna be a running theme throughout both these dolls as the, the fashions and the things they come with. And this is this year's. This one's covered in poinsettias, which I quite like. And it says 12 Days of Christmas Barbie made out of that same really nice thick material you're meant to keep these boxes and store everything in it until the next year and then of course on the back same thing it shows the doll in both her outfits and the accessories that she comes with and both these dolls are gold label dolls which means there are no more than 20,000 of each doll made worldwide so now that we've looked over the boxes let's talk about the dolls and what they come with. We're going to go over 2022 first because she is the first one and the oldest one. And so let's go over the doll. So she arrives in this very Santa Claus inspired dress. And she's got white faux fur trim along the collar. I believe that's considered a shawl neck and along the end of the sleeves. She's got the black belt with the gold buckle. She does come with pearl stud earrings, a red bow, and she's got the high ponytail resembling, you know, the, the first Barbies. And one of my favorite things is her stand is the number one Barbie peg stand. It says Barbie in red. And then she's got these red pumps and underneath is her white crinoline that holds the shape of the dress. And then she just slides right back onto the stand just like that. I absolutely love these stands. They're my favorite Barbie stands. And I just like how they pose the doll. She's in that perfect Barbie pose. And she just stands perfectly. So day number one is the doll in her stand. So that's what you get for day number one. Day number two is this really cute little gold framed picture of Barbie and Ken. I'm trying to get a close up of that so you can see the details. And you know, this frame is very traditional, very, I don't know, almost, I feel like you would see it in any grandma's house. Just an old framed photo of Barbie and Ken. I like that detail. In the photo, Barbie is wearing a red flare or Silk and Flame. I can never remember if Red Flare is the dress and Silk and Flame is the coat, but she's wearing a vintage outfit. And then Ken in the picture is wearing a Victory Dance from the 60s. That was day number two where you got the little photo. And then day number three. So I did not know these existed until this doll set actually. This is based off of in the 1950s, 60s, I, they may even, may even have come to prominence in the 30s and 40s. They were these ceramic kind of lamp Christmas trees. And the little each little individual bulb would light up. The star would light up. And so Barbie's got her own little tabletop, cer well, ceramic. This is, made, of course, made out of plastic Christmas tree with her little star. The details are incredible. 
as you can see, you have the multicolored rainbow lights. You got a little bit of frosting, make it look like snow or flocking. It's not real flocking, it's painted to look like snow. Very pretty piece. And then it came with a little circular piece of fabric as the tree skirt, Christmas tree skirt. Nice little detail. It just sits on top of the tree skirt like so. That is actually my fa one of my favorite pieces from 2022 holiday, uh, 12 Days of Christmas Barbie. I, I even end up buying a ceramic one for my office at work because I loved it so much, the Christmas tree. So I have a little ceramic one in my office at work because this, I just had to have it because Barbie had it, so I'd have one. So let's move on to day number four. So number four, it came uh, with this little cardboard looking toy catalog. Now inside is just plain white, but it's a toy catalog. Maybe, you know, Barbie's trying to figure out if she wants to get Skip or something for Christmas from the toys. So that was included. Also day number four is the Christmas card, which I really love this. It's got a great picture of Santa on the front and it says greetings. And then inside it says Barbie. Merry, happy holidays, love Ken, which I thought that was a great, a great um, little detail they put in there. Happy ho Barbie, happy holidays, love Ken. I thought that was perfect. And then also included in day four is this really cute little pencil. This little tiny pencil pen, maybe right here. And then a Christmas shopping list where you have Ken, Skipper, Midge, Alan, Scooter, Ricky, and Francie. And if you're a Barbie fan, you probably recognize a lot of those names. Uh, of course, we know Midge, which is Barbie's first best friend. Skipper is her sister. Alan is Midge's boyfriend. Scooter, I believe, was to be Midge's sister. Ricky was supposed to be Alan's brother. And then Francie is Barbie's cousin from the UK. So all that came with day number four. Day number four got quite a lot. I'm just going to place those down here. So day number five for 2022 is this really cute little record. It's a Barbie Christmas album. And of course, you can't really read like the songs or anything on it. But inside is an actual little plastic uh, vinyl record. And as you can see, it's red and it has Barbie on it. So that's a great little detail, especially if you have the reproduction Barbie Dream House and she has her little, um, what was the thing called? It was the TV, but it was also the stereo system hi-fi, I believe. You could pretend that you can put that in the high five pretend Barbie's listening to her Christmas record. I love these little details. Um, next year, I plan on doing a uh, tip, you know, a folding diorama for these dolls and placing all their stuff in it because I love all their accessories and they need to display, be displayed properly every Christmas. But uh, moving on to day number six, which is this really super cute gingerbread house. It's extremely detailed. Here's the front of it. Here's one side. You see the little window. They even went to, to the, paid, paid enough to detail to the back of the, the little gingerbread house where you see two little windows. Here's another side. And they also put in the detail of the roof as well. So we got a sweet little looking gingerbread house, which it wouldn't be Christmas without a gingerbread house. Am I right? So we got that on day number six. And day seven is, I mean, it's a little Christmas present. It's really cute for a diorama to stick under like a little tree for Barbie. It's gold with a red ribbon. It's just a solid little square box. I kind of would like it if maybe the lid could have come off and he could have maybe put something in it. That would have been nice. But I mean, it's it'd be nice 
for a little diorama. Little diorama scene. It's cute. It's really cute. Again, it's red. Red. It's gold with a red ribbon. It's, it's super cute. So that was day number seven. And then day number eight, and I really like this, is a traditional looking stocking. And it, it does, you can probably put some stuff in it for Barbie, but it's like a red felt material, faux white fur around the top. And it does have a loop where she can hold it. Or if you're doing a, a little Christmas diorama yourself, you can somehow attach it to a little fireplace. It's a super cute idea. Uh, the only thing I would add to this would maybe somewhere on the stocking, maybe say Barbie or maybe embroidered or something. But other than that, it's actually perfect. My only critique is I think it should have been embroidered maybe in gold or green and maybe it should have said Barbie or something. But other than that, it's a, it's a really cute little item, Christmas item. And moving on to day number nine, and it's one of my favorites also from 2022, 12 Days Christmas Barbie, is this little brown teddy bear with a red ribbon tied around its neck. It is very precious. I mean, Christmas would not be complete without a perfect little teddy bear under the tree. The only thing is, I kind of wish it was flocked instead of just being the hard plastic. But other than that, it's a really cute teddy bear. It's just a solid piece of plastic. All the details are painted. And again, that's a real fabric red ribbon tied around its neck. It's super cute. And that is day number nine. We're getting closer to the end. So day number 10 is this really precious Christmas plate with Christmas cookies. Now I have them kind of stuck to the plate with some poster putty so they won't move. But each thing is a clump of three cookies, three Christmas thing cookies. You have a star, a tree, a Christmas bell, a stocking, a gingerbread man, and another little Christmas bell. Again, I stuck these to the plate with some poster putty, just to keep them in place. And the plate is, you know, white with some red detailing on it. It's super cute. And it Christmas would not be complete without Christmas themed cookies. And that was day number 10. Now day 11 is probably my second favorite to the Christmas tree are these absolutely incredibly detailed little Santa mugs. And I know that my, I know that these were staple in the 1950s and 60s because my dad actually has one from his childhood. Looks identical to this. Where you have Santa's face, his, the handle, his hat turns into the handle. My dad showed it to me and he's had it since he was a child from the 50s and it's, so I know this is something that was very popular in the 50s and 60s. And actually, they have regained popularity today because I see them like at Hobby Lobby and other stores like that. I even found one for myself at Dillard's and I use it at work all throughout the holiday season. And then the tray is a kind of a plain white tray with holly decorating the border. It's very similar to the tray that was included with the vintage Barbie from the 60s. I believe it was called Something Date, but it was a black tray and it said Barbie in the middle. This one's very similar to that, except it's white and it's framed in holly. This is, like I said, this is my second favorite thing from this set because I just love the little till mugs, the tray, and again, a lot of this stuff is perfect if you want to do your own Barbie dioramas. Now, day 12, is going to be this very pretty gold cocktail dress and little gold shoes, uh, the open toed open toe mules. Now these do have the hole in the bottom so that she can wear them while she's on her stand. And it's, the dress is based off a, a vintage Barbie fashion. I believe it came in several different colors. I think one of the more, more popular co colors was this orange one. The, that looked very similar to a dress Jackie O wore in the 60s. So you'll probably recognize the 
the style of the dress from an, a vintage Barbie fashion pack from the day. And then 2022 is complete. So we got the doll with her stand, a frame photo of Barbie and Ken, a little gold frame, the Christmas tree and the Christmas tree skirt on day three, then day four, the Christmas card, pencil, Christmas list, and the toy catalog. And then day five was the, the vinyl record. And day six was the gingerbread house, then the stocking and the Christmas present, the teddy bear, the cookies and the plate, the Santa mugs and tray, and the dress. So you get a whole Christmas themed package with each of these dolls. And it's really incredible. The attention to detail is absolutely amazing. And so with, with that being said, let's move on to 2023. So... For 2023, you get the doll, and of course, her stand is not as um, attached as last year's, but you get the doll in this gorgeous hostess outfit with the pants. The shoes are very similar to last year's. Instead of red, they are green, and the shoe fell off, <laughs> but she has this gorgeous... I don't even know what to call that pattern on the dress. It's just beautiful, very holiday. It's finished with some gold buttons and then it's closed with snaps. She comes with a three layered gold pearl necklace and then gold set earrings. And she also comes with a gold layered bracelet. And then this year's doll is done in a darker skin tone, which I think is very nice. It's a nice uh, change from last year's doll. I'm just trying to put her shoe back on. It's not one to cooperate. So we're just going to leave the shoe off. But she's got, uh, I didn't go over this in the other doll, but both dolls have red lips. Very similar eye makeup with the gold and red nails and red toenails. Both dolls do have this um, feature. Now, the only thing I was kind of disappointed about is day two is when you got the stand lat with 2022 12 days of christmas barbie the stand came with the doll and you actually got a different item but day two was the stand i feel like for the price point of this doll she's a gold label doll and i believe she's about 150 to 155 on mattel creations i feel like the stand should not be considered a Christmas item. I feel like um, I feel like the stand should have been included with her like it was with last year's doll, but hopefully if or when they do this again next year, um, they will not have the stand is one of the calendar options. But a little bit the outfit makes up for it the outfit she comes in is just it's just very beautiful you can just imagine barbie hosting a christmas event in this very pretty outfit and i believe that this outfit is based off an original barbie outfit called dinner at eight uh that one was orange and gold but it's very similar it came with the pants with the overskirt um and i love that they base these the fashions of these dolls off of vintage fashions from the 50s and this or this predominantly the 60s and again she doesn't set as securely on her stand as last year's it's a little bit looser so be careful with that the stand will kind of slide off so day one is the doll day two was the stand not very happy about that but maybe they'll do better next year so let's move on to what we get on day three for 2023, which is the adorable little reindeer figurine. And again, they just didn't do any old reindeer. They did a reindeer figurine. I feel like you would have seen in your grandma's house during the 60s. And as I said before, Bill Greening based all these little details off of you know, his grandma's Christmas decorations, his mom's, and also the ones he's collected over the years for his own personal Christmas, vintage Christmas de decor. 
And I feel like this reindeer looks straight out of the 50s or 60s. It's very cute. The bow does come off, so be careful with that. It will pop off if you're not careful. It's removable. But I think that little reindeer is a sweet little addition, and I absolutely love it. So again, that was day three, is the little reindeer. Let's move on to day four, which is this candle centerpiece, which I feel like I've seen this a lot in vintage Christmas decor. You have three candles of different sizes, red, and they're lit. And then the actual centerpiece looks like a wreath with little um, pine cones that have been uh, covered in gold glitter. I think this is a very cute piece. I feel like I've seen this in plenty of the vintage pictures from the 50s and 60s as like a table centerpiece, either on a dining table or maybe a coffee table. I think it's very cute and very true to the era. Again, the, de the attention detail to the era is incredible. Bill Greening did not miss a beat. So let's move on to day number five, which is a repeat from last year's doll which is this little present. The only thing they changed up was the now the box is red and the bow is gold. So it's just kind of opposite from last year's. And you get this on day five instead of day seven. Again, it's cute, great for a diorama, but may, hopefully next year they won't give us another present. Maybe they'll do something else, but it's still very cute. Now let's move on to day six, which is this little Christmas card, Barbie has another Christmas card. This time it has some ornaments on it. And then inside it says, Happy Holidays, Barbie, from Midge. I really like the fact that last year's card is from Ken. This year's card is from Midge. I really feel like that is a great little detail they added. And then also on day number six, we get another catalog which I don't know if this is a misprint or what, but it just kind of says, Merry Chris, Mama, maybe Merry Christmas. The wording really isn't finished. It doesn't specify what kind of catalog it is. It doesn't say toy or anything like that. It just says Merry Christmas, and it's just called a catalog. Again, there's nothing inside. It's just simply for decoration, but the detail is there in the front. You have Santa Claus with the reindeer pulling a sleigh, a little house. Just kind of a perfect winter scene. And again, that is day six. Now on day seven, this is a new item. Instead of cookies, you get this little bunt cake, a little Christmas bunt cake, which it's iced. And I'm pr those are probably little red cranberries on it to give it that holiday flair. So there's the cake. And then it came on this very precious white plate with this little green design um it's not really a holly design it's just a very cute kind of green almost floral looking design for the plate and of course they're two separate pieces which is nice again if you want them to make sure they stay together i suggest using some poster putty to kind of stick the cake onto it so you don't have to worry about it falling off so that again was day seven now for day eight we get this really cute, very traditional looking Christmas wreath. It matches the candle, the candle centerpiece. It's green with uh, pine cones with gold glitter and a red bow. Now there is great possibility here to paint more details on because there are more details on this wreath that you could probably paint on if you want to customize this item further. And again, that was day number eight. Now, here is my favorite piece from the 2023 12 Days of Christmas. You get this on day number nine. It is this incredibly cute little nutcracker. I, myself, I love nutcrackers. I have several of my own personal Christmas decorations, and I absolutely love this one. It's very detailed, very cute, and what is Christmas without a nutcracker? I actually kind of hope from now on, if they decide to continue the 12 Days of Christmas line, which I hope they do, I hope they include nutcrackers, different ones in all of them, because you can't have too many nutcrackers for Christmas. 
it is a staple in the Christmas tr in the Christmas decorations. Don't you agree? So day number nine is this Nutcracker. It's my favorite piece. I absolutely love it. In fact, I would have been okay if they would just given me Nutcrackers for all the days, but yeah, that's just me. And so on day number 10, we're getting very close to the end here, is the Poinsettia tea set. So instead of getting the Santa mugs, you get this teapot, white teapot, with uh, a poinsettia design on it. The lid, the top of the teapot does not, it does come off. So it's just a plastic, a plastic, plastic hollow inside, but it does come off for detail. And then you get two little teacups with saucers. There's the saucer, it's just a white saucer trimmed in red. And then the teacup with a little poinsettia design on it which is very cute. I really like this. I think it'd be great for a diorama. And I think it complements last year's Santa mugs with the tray. All right, day, day number 11 is going to be this poinsettia plant that comes in a gold pot. The poinsettias are very pretty, very detailed. And of course, again, kind of like the Nutcracker, you can't have Christmas without poinsettias. And I think it's very fitting considering the theme of this year's box was poinsettia themed. And also it complements the poinsettia tea set as well. So that is day number 11. Now on day number 12, we get this red cocktail dress and red open toed mules. And I kind of consider their second outfits as maybe their New Year's outfits with their wearing to New Year's party. It's very pretty, it's very chic, it's very simple. It's just a red kind of satiny material. It's got a uh, overlay right here, or a wrap. It almost resembles a wrap dress in the front. It's got bows on the shoulders. And of course, all the Barbies outfits finish with snaps. They're plastic snaps, not metal, but I know some of you prefer metal. I like plastic snaps only because they won't rust over time. And that completes 2023 12 Days of Christmas Barbie and 20, in my review of the 2022 12 Days of Christmas Barbie as well. Again, I love these dolls. I really hope this line continues. I really hope we continue getting the peg stands because they're just amazing. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below about these dolls. Do you have them? Are you going to get them? Um, both of them were early Christmas presents from my husband. Uh, he got me 2022 last year's and he got me this one this year and I absolutely love them. I hope this series continues because I want for the next 30 years or plus of my life, I would love a 12 Days of Christmas Barbie to continue and with all the details and everything they come with. So please like, share, and subscribe to my channel and I hope you enjoyed this review. Let me know in the comments below what you think about it. And have a great day and a Merry Christmas to all of you.